I've been enjoying my Anbernic RG35XX quite a bit since it came up. One of the things I had to do once I got it was get rid of the stock SD card that it comes with, this little unbranded thing, because something happened to mine and it just lost all ability to save my system settings. Every time I went into it, I was in Chinese and all my system settings had been reset. Now, unfortunately, the only SD card that I had lying around was a 128 gigabyte card, which I frankly did not want to devote to this device. So I purchased myself a couple of Amazon Basics 64 gigabyte SD cards, which I think I spent $12 for two 64 gig cards on sale. As long as they don't fail like this thing did, which knowing my luck, they probably will. That is a heck of a deal. In this video, I'm going to take these two cards. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flash the stock OS on both of them. Then I'm going to install Garlic OS, which is a far improved operating system over the original one onto one of them. And then I'm gonna keep my ROMs on the 128 gigabyte cards. So I'm gonna use both SD cards and I'm gonna be able to switch back and forth between OS's depending on what other SD card is in <laughs> the device. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in this video if that's something that is beneficial to you or something you're trying to do, perhaps this will be helpful. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go download the official operating system directly from Anbernic. And we do that by going to win.anbernic.com, blah, 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 blah. I'll have this link in the description. So RG35XX, let's download that system software. And it should be this top link here. It's weird because you can't click on this. This you can, but that's a broken link. It, it loads to nothing. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to highlight this URL, control copy, and then paste it into your address bar and it will open up in Google Drive. I don't use their image writer. I don't use any of this stuff. I only want this, the RG35XX hyphen in hyphen bunch of numbers dot RAR. So we're gonna right click on that and we're going to download it. And we're gonna download it anyways. I would suggest you install on all computers that you use, something like WinRAR. You might need 7-zip to unzip some stuff later. I'll put links to those in the description as well. So now we're gonna take the SD card that contains, perhaps it contains our ROMs and our operating system. Perhaps you've already done some other stuff. I don't really know. But at any rate, I'm gonna take this card and I'm gonna plug it into my computer because I wanna get my saves off of it. I'll show you where your saves should be if you're on Onion OS already or if you're on the stock operating system. You're gonna to wanna to save them because you're gonna potentially lose them. And you might also wanna back up your ROMs or anything else you don't have a backup of as we move to this new SD card. When you plug your SD card in, you might get a bunch of pop-ups, right? Saying to format things, don't format anything, just ignore that stuff. And what you're looking for are two drives, miscellaneous and ROMs. So your saves, if you're on the stock operating system, are going to be in your ROMs uh, drive, which is all in the same car, but in the ROMs drive, and then if you go into where your ROMs are, which mine are empty because I've done some other stuff, you should see your ROMs and then next to your ROM, a duplicate that will say dot save, okay? And that should be true for anything that you have done to this point. In Garlic OS, it is in your ROMs drive, go into CFW, look for RetroArch, RetroArch again, and then under save, and you'll see my saves there. So I'm simply going to copy them and I'm just gonna stash them away in my downloads folder so that I don't lose them with what I'm about to do. I cannot stress enough that you need to back this stuff up. Back up your saves and back up your ROMs because when you're done, you're gonna need to move all this stuff onto the new card. So now we can actually get rid of that SD card, which presumably is the crappy one that it came with and we're going to trade out for the new one. And you'll see here now 58 point nine gigabytes, that is the new drive. So the next thing we're gonna need is something called Win32 Disk Imager, which again, big shocker, link in the description. Go ahead, download that and let it install. And we're going to open that up. Now we're gonna go back to our downloads folder where we downloaded our uh, stock software. We're gonna right click on that and we're going to extract it. I'm going to extract it into its own little folder here that you will see just to keep things a bit more organized. And once it's done extracting, you can go ahead and delete that RAR file so we don't have a bunch of duplications. That is the thing that we need. So back on Win32 Disk Imager, let's click on the little folder icon and let's grab that file. And now we're going to point it the device at our SD card, which we know is G. If you do this wrong, you may lose some data on your computer. We're now gonna click on write. And what this is going to do is it is going to write that disk image to that SD card. It will create all the necessary partitions and everything 
is going to be beautiful. So at that point, you may be looking at this and thinking, something seems odd. I see a miscellaneous folder, but I do not see a ROMs drive. And the reason for that is it needed to be FAT32 and that process failed because FAT32 can only be of a certain size. So we have a workaround to fix that as well. We need to determine which drive was meant to be the ROMs drive though, which I believe that the simplest way to do this is to hit your start button, type in partition, and look for something that says create and format hard disk partitions. Open that up and let this load. And we should see something here in a moment that should tell us what drive we're looking for, which one needs to be formatted. Okay, so, so if you look down here, you'll see we're looking for the disk that has that miscellaneous partition on it. We This is the one, right? And we're looking for J. See how that is 55 gigabytes of raw? It's not formatted in anything in particular. It's not FAT32 or anything else. It's just raw. That's the one we're looking for. Now we're going to click on maybe the last link. Nope, not the last link in the description. Just another link. Ridgecrop.co.uk. This individual has an app that will let you format a larger drive into FAT32, that is the one that we need. Now you may have noticed here, if I go back to the partition manager, that we have 2.93 gigabytes of unallocated disk space. So what you can do, you can delete this volume and then you can go ahead and now create a new simple volume and name it ROMs. It doesn't matter what the file system is because we're gonna change it anyways. This will just make it a bit easier to spot Let's go back to that website and click on the picture. The picture will actually download the file. Now let's go back to our downloads folder and we're going to click on GUI format. Let that run. Let's pull this back over here. Okay, so we know from what we've just done, let's make sure we're sure that we're sure that we're sure that ROMs is in fact J, right? J ROMs, we're gonna call it ROMs, quick format. Let's click on start. Do you really wanna do this? Absolutely I do, more than anything in the world. And that is now done. So now this is in FAT32. At this point, you can go ahead and bring over all of your ROMs. You can copy them into this drive. Now, hopefully when you save them, when you back them up off of your original car, you kept all the folders the same. Just drag it over. It's gonna take a while, but let it do its thing. And all that will be there. If we're gonna leave this as the stock OS, you just simply want a better card. You can just drag everything over and you're pretty much good to go at that point. You can pop it in and off you go. If this is meant to be your garlic OS SD card, copy all your ROMs over. And then as far as the saves go, they're going to go into a different folder that does not yet exist. We're going to skip ahead to that next part now. So I'm going to do the exact same thing I just did with that SD card on the second SD card. And what I'm going to have at that point is two cards, both running the stock operating system. And then the second card, I'm going to put garlic OS onto. Now, again, for me, I'm not copying my ROMs onto both cards because I do, like I said, have a second card and all my ROMs are on that one. You can see here, that is the card that I just did this process on. We're gonna pop it in, we're gonna power it up and we should boot into the original OS. There's the Ambernick logo. So we know we're, we're making some progress. And uh, we should see their home screen here in just a moment. And even though you did not see me copy any ROMs onto it, there they are, because as I keep saying, they're on the second SD card. So one SD card down, one to go. So now we have SD card number two done, miscellaneous ROMs. Again, copy your, your ROMs into this folder, into this drive, if you want to have them on there, if you're using a second SD card, ignore this part. Now what we're going to need to do is go get Garlic OS. Link in the description, scroll down, and we're just going to download the one that says copy paste on top of stock. So let's let that download. Let's go to our downloads folder. And there it is. Let's right click it and let's extract it into its own handy little folder. Let's go into that. And this is really, really simple. So go into the ROMs folder and you don't actually need any of these folders at all. All you need is this one. So copy that go to your ROMs drive, paste it in. Now for me, I have an additional step because I grab my saves and this is the one I'm going to be using for the most part and that's where my saves need to be. So I'm gonna copy my saves. I'm going to go in here where I showed you earlier where the saves go for Garlic OS and we're gonna paste them in, great. Now we're gonna go back to that copy and paste folder, grab the miscellaneous 
folder, copy everything inside, go in here and paste it. And we're going to replace files in destination. Let it copy over them and we're done. Garlic OS is now installed. And for me, since my ROMs are on my other card, this process is completed. So let's grab the card and fire it up. So let's hold on the power button. And with any luck, we should see the Garlic OS logo here in just a moment. There you go, Garlic OS. And we should see the main menu now. Beautiful. Okay. And once again, if I go into consoles, you'll see all of my ROMs are still there. Now, if you're wondering how to have a second SD card with your ROM on it, well, it looks pretty much like this. Just take an SD card, format it into FAT32, call it ROMs, and put all your ROMs in their appropriate folders on that card. Stick it in that second slot and you are absolutely done. Guys, I hope this was a useful little tutorial for you to either, you know, move your installation of the stock OS onto a new SD card or to perhaps move on to a new SD card and install Onion OS or maybe you're doing what I'm doing and you want to have two cards so that you can dual boot and go back and forth relatively easily. The only thing that doesn't really work when you're doing this is your saves don't really jump back and forth, right? Because the default OS keeps your saves in the same folders with your ROMs, whereas uh, Garlic OS keeps it inside a custom firmware folder uh, up here. So you would have to manually move them back and forth. Maybe you're playing some games on one and some on the other. I don't know. For me, all I want to be able to do is compare and contrast between the two. I would say eventually, I'm probably going to format this drive and get rid of the stock OS altogether. But for now, I want to have them both to be able to experiment with. At any rate, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below. So you don't miss out on a more massive, massive shout out to Black Seraph, the person making Garlic OS, because without their work, this device would be much worse than it is. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.